Welcome to Anywhere Math. I'm Jeff Jacobson, and today we are dividing decimals. Ooh, here we go. All right, let's get right into it with our first example. 7.6 divided by 4. Now, your first step is going to rewrite it uh, in like long division forms to help you to help you find the quotient. A lot of people have a hard time remembering which goes where. You know, what I'm talking about is, is we're going to rewrite it with that. And people are wondering, well, I always forget what goes on the inside here and what goes on the outside. If that happens to you, just think of a problem that you know by heart. For example, I know 6 divided by 3 is 2. Okay. So then I'm thinking, well, is it going to be the 6 here and the 3 here? Or is it going to be the 6 here and the 3 here? Right. You know the answer has to be 2, so whichever one gives you 2, that's the way it needs to be. Well, 3 goes into 6 two times. 6 goes into 3, 0, and then you would add a 0 0.5. So it's got to be that, right? Which means the first number has to go on the inside. The next number has to go on the outside. That's what you're dividing by. Okay, So that's, that can help you remember if you ever forget. So here, 7.6 is going here, just like the 6 went there. Seven. So you're kind of basically crisscrossing, right? Uh, 4 is what you're dividing it by, 7.6 divided by 4, 7.6 divided by 4. Uh, now, when you're dividing with decimals, the decimal point goes directly above, don't mind that, the decimal point goes directly above where it is in your, in your uh, problem here, 7.6. So it goes directly above. That's where it's going to be in your quotient. So... I like to put it right off the bat so I don't forget. Um, so here we go. Now we just divide. 4 into 7 goes once. That's 4. Subtract. I got 3. Bring down the 6. 4 into 36 is 9. That is 36. So I am finished. There's nothing left here, so I'm done. So 7.6 divided by 4 is 1.9. Here's some to try on your own. All right, here's our second example, 2.45 divided by 0 0.007, or seven thousandths. Um, so, again, first thing we're going to do is rewrite it. Instead of like this, we're going to write it like with long division. So the 2.45 is being divided by 0 0.007. Okay, so that's your first step, right? First step is to rewrite it. Now, in this example, we are dividing by a decimal. We do not like to do that. Okay? We don't want to divide by a decimal. The first one, the first example was much easier because this was a whole number. Now, we can change this to a whole number simply by, well, if we move this once, two, three times, the decimal point three times to the right, that would make it seven, which is a whole number. That's what we want to do. But we can't just do that to this, right? If we only do it here and not here, our, our answer will not be the same, not be equivalent to what it actually should be. So you have to do the same here. I move three times here. I'm going to move one, two, three here. There's nothing there, so I'm going to add a zero. This is basically just like equivalent fractions. You can think of it as, well, 2.45 divided by 0 0.007. If I want to make my denominator a whole number, I would just, sorry, I would just multiply that by 100. Anything I do to the denominator, I need to do the numerator. So I multiply that by, I'm sorry, 1,000. Right? Multiply that by a thousand, 
which means I'm essentially just multiplying by one. Thousand over thousand is just one. So nothing's actually changing. And then that would become seven over 2045. Okay. So that's essentially what we're doing. We're not changing the, the problem. The quotient will still be the same as if I did this or 2450 divided by seven. Okay. Uh, it just makes it much easier for us. So that's what we're doing. So that's step two is make sure you're dividing by a whole number. Okay, really, really important. Do whatever you need to do. Move it as many times as you need to to divide by a whole number and then do the same thing here. Okay. Uh, also, what you're starting with, your uh, dividend, does not have to be a whole number. If you have a decimal here, that's fine. We don't care about that. All we care about is the divisor right here. That has to be a whole number. So from here, I like to rewrite the problem. So now it's 7, which looks much better, divided by 2,450. Okay. Now, I also like to make sure I put my decimal point here. So I remember that that's where it is. So in my answer, I'm going to put it directly above for my quotient. It's going to go right there. And now it's just long division. So 7 into 2, no, that doesn't work. So 7 into 24 goes 3 times. That's 21. Subtract, I get 3. Bring down the 5. 7 into 35 is 5. That is 35. Subtract, I get 0. But I'm not done because I still have a 0 to bring down, right? That's why it helps having that decimal point there. Bring down the 0. Well, 7 into 0 is 0. So now I am finished. So 2.45 divided by 0 0.007 is 350. Okay. And you can think of this like you're wondering, well, how did it increase so much? We're dividing, right? It's very similar to dividing by fractions. You're dividing by a fraction, essentially, that's less than one, a like a proper fraction, and we know when we divide by a proper fraction, we're actually increasing the value. Okay, So that's what's happening here. This is a decimal that's less than 1, so it's actually going to increase the value and increase it by quite a bit. Okay, So 350. Here's some more to try on your own. <laughs> Here's some more to try on your own. Thank you for watching, and as always, if you like this video, please subscribe.